Susie! Susie, have you seen my sun cream? Decisions, decisions. It's quite a profound decision. You know, it's not surface or temporary. Um, is best the best word? Yeah. Best is subjective, I guess. It's SPF 30. It's getting a little hot out here. Just me. <laughs> you joker. The best decision I ever made. Oh, that's a bit of a clickbait headline, don't you think? Hmm. Oh. We can be quite superfluous with our language. The best decision I ever made to have Southwest and ranch in a Subway sandwich. This is the best decision I've ever had. To wear shorts ah, on a sunny day like this. To do the vlog outside. That's the best decision I've ever made. It's probably true. We do make some really great decisions like choosing the university, choosing a job, who you're going out with. Choosing your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Um, shout out to Louisa, who has finished her degree today. But have you thought about what is the best decision that you've ever made? And I was thinking about this, and it was, th and for me, it's the decision to follow Jesus. Now, what on earth does that mean? I chose, I decided that there was a God, there was a God who cared about me, there was a God who had a plan for me, there was a God who loved me, who sent his son to die for me, that I needed a saviour, I needed someone who would help me, who would be my, not just help me through life, but also help my soul, who would be a saviour to my soul, and that it is so sunny, because to be a Christian, I think comes from the word little Christ, to be more like Jesus, so I'm making these decisions every single day, you know, to be more like Jesus, to be more kind, more loving, more forgiving, to be patient, to be wise, to be self-controlled, to be gentle, to be hospitable. I'm trying to make those decisions every day. So that's the best decision I've ever made. It's a decision that affects every other decision that I make. And that's why I believe for me, it's the best decision. Here's my question to you. What's the best decision that you've ever made? Let's go.